Hey guys, um, yeah, just another video Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com YouTube channel. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you a really interesting method to uh, perform some quick and effective uh, hair extraction uh, using the Refine Mask tool in Photoshop. Um, now, the Refine Mask tool is only available from Photoshop CS5. And uh, so if you have an earlier version of Photoshop, uh, this tool is uh, not uh, available. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Now firstly, we have a, a model image here. Now as you can see, uh, we have a fair, a fair amount of uh, fuzzy hair at the at the outer edge and there's really no way for us to use the standard selection method to um, select those hair. Now the purpose of this of this um, tutorial is to show you just just how you can uh, select those outer edge uh, without losing too much detail um, and uh, yeah so the ultimate goal is one of, we wanted to um, combine this model image uh, with this background scenery. So yeah, so let's uh, just get started. Um, yeah, so we'll just grab the quick selection tool. Uh, we'll draw a selection of the model. Yeah, so we have a, a selection of the model and what, what we just wanted to uh, zoom in a little bit. Now we wanted to make sure that we don't select too much of the hair uh, at the edge because this area are the, um, are the transitional transitional areas uh, which contain, still contains the, um, uh, the background and uh, and this, these are the areas that uh, we need to, uh, we don't need to worry about this, this hair. We only need to select the, this darker part of the hair, which, which contains just the, um, the just contains the most, most amount of hair textures. Um, so we wanted to just basically deselect some of the edge. So you might ask questions that why we why don't we um, select those hair? Now you will see in a second, um, and you will see the power of the refine mask tool, and what the tool will do to bring bring out those details um, in a second. All right, so this will do. Um, all right, so if we go into the layer uh, palette, uh, we wanted to add a layer mask to it. Okay, so we have a, a rough uh, selection at the edge. Now this, although it might look arrive from a amateur point of view um, if you want to be a bit professional this edge just look quite ugly um, so that brings us to the refine mask tool now we wanted to double click on the mask and this will bring up the mask uh, properties now this option here says um, mask edge we click on that We'll have the refine mask window here. Now, this I would like to show you a couple of things first. The first one is the is the is the view mode. So you can, as you can see, this this uh, a number of uh, view mode. Now, the one you should pay attention 
for now is the black and white view model. This shows just the black and white um, of this um, of this layer mask, and uh, we'll, and if we take the option here that says show radius, now this 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 option here will show the just the uh, just the edge between the mask and the actual image. Now this because there's no there's no radius, um, so there's absolutely no edge. You can see on the, it's just basically just a white canvas. But um, the the next thing what we can do is we want to increase the radius just slightly. So yeah, so as you can see. There's there's now some white lines appearing, and uh, this is this is the radius of the of the mask. We'll set the um, radius to be around about um, maybe two point six pixel. Um, wanted to use the other thing is that we wanted to really use this on layer option so you can see the background. Um, so as you can see, the hair part is still looking not that nice. So we wanted to use this tool here. This is the refine radius tool. So if we click on that, and we wanted to just adjust the brush size slightly, just increase that to be a bit larger uh, brush. So we wanted to just use this brush to brush that gently to the edge of the hair Just make sure you don't over brush. Now, as you can see, um, we now have a very nice hair textures, and um, on the top there. Now, the other thing is what you can do is to take this uh, decontaminate colors option. Now this basically will give you more detail um, to the edge of the cut of the uh, of the hair. Um, so we wanted to just increase that slightly, just see the edge and how the color is changing. And this will give us the the best possible result for the edge of the hair. And just for this uh, mask option here, we don't need to use any of these options. Um, we only need to slightly use the shift edge option here. Now, if we press OK, as you can see, uh, Photoshop automatically creates a new layer. Um, so we'll, we'll just compare the result uh, before and after. So on the top there, that's the result before the uh, refine mask, and that's the result after. It's, this refine mask uh, technique is a pretty powerful technique when it comes to hair extraction. Uh, and um, so um, it will be a really useful tool when it if you wanted to perform some complicated um, hair uh, selection uh, in a relatively uh, shorter amount of time and with uh, minimal effort. Yes, yeah, so um, that uh, concludes this uh, video tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoying this technique and, uh, find it, and find it useful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.